I have a special guest. It Michael is. Walters, Elevators from Roblox and more here. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Make sure you pause. Take, take some time. Take some time. Take some Alright everyone, this is this week's Rare Fan video. In this video, you see a lot of trains that are coming from the New Market subdivision. We also gone to the Richmond Hill Go Station, and there we saw a lot of epic stuff that will be coming up in the middle of this video. The first train was unexpected. It was an intermodal train heading southbound. The first train was not coming from the New Market Sub Division because they don't have intermodal trains on the New Market Sub. I didn't see the lead locomotives, but I did see a CN Jeevo locomotive 3836. But judging by the Jeevo pushing at the rear, I think this train has Jeevos for the lead locomotives. I didn't count the cars since I didn't see the full train, so let's get on with it. Already here, right now we are waiting at the unexpected train you can see here. It is a southbound intermodal train. I heard today that there's going to be a BC Rail Heritage Unit heading northbound. So I guess this train is heading up south to meet with it. Thirty-eight, thirty-six, and there it goes. A few minutes later after that train came, I decided to call Mike Waters on his cell phone. No, LOL, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> In fact, I called him at the right time. I called him at the right time because he was actually approaching Vivian Road. He checked the signals, and the signal heading southbound was green. Then, a few minutes later after he checked the signals, I heard that K3 L horn. I actually called this the Dash 9 Trio train because this train was led by Dash 9s. Now let's listen to the horn of the Dash 9 before we talk about what numbers they are.
The numbers of the Dash 9 locomotives are 2573 with an awesome K3 Alhorn, 2537, and 2620. And this train has 128 freight cars on it. And it was coming from the New Market Subdivision.
and vehicles heading south you can see here nice case we are home from the dash nines so yeah i'm just once this train goes around the corner i'm just going to pause it for now and there it goes So yeah, I'm just going to pause it for now. That evening, I saw another unexpected freight train. And like the last train, this train also came from the Newmarket subdivision. It was led by CN's g and first gen SD70 M2 locomotive, 2225, with an awesome and epic K5 HL horn, 8003, and 3101. And I kind of wish that 3101 was actually leading this train because it has a P5 horn that replaced a K5 HL horn, which is rare for a Jeeva locomotive to have. And the next day, 8003 and 3101 were actually on the Bellas sub. 8003 was actually heading back onto the new market sub pulling a short mixed train with other locomotives and 3101 was leading a northbound intermodal train. How do I know that the two locomotives were running the next day? Well, the conductor actually saw them. Anyway, this train has 125 freight cars on it. Oh, here comes a southbound train at Albert Street. And this train was the loudest too. It was screaming around the bend.
heading south. Three locomotives, two GFOs, and one FD 70 M2 locomotive. With a beautiful sunset. So, yeah, that was an unexpected train. I saw the light coming down the tracks when I was going across this road, this bridge, and I decided to pull up into here and see this. So, yeah. For now, I'm just going to pause for now and we will see what we will get next. Alrighty, looks like we are. I, we are near B for 10 here, and we have a CN train stopped. Here, you can see here, one of them has about 100 year anniversary sticker on it. In fact, it's 3229, 3974, 3050, and 3267. So they are all basically GFOs pulling a mixed train. It's really weird that it's stopped. I don't know why. So yeah, yeah, you can see the locomotive stopped with the headlights off, with the motor running. In fact, I see a G4 locomotive, 3267, and some other G4s behind that. Yeah, I'm wondering what's happening. I never seen a train stopped here of all the times I passed here. I never filmed here, but... I have seen many trains here as well. Like I said, I never been. Yeah, I'm wondering what's happening. Like we will, we we decided to walk through here because it's a park. Oh, I wonder why the um, rails are black here. Should be like gray or something like that. I'm wondering if they painted the rails recently. I don't know. So yeah. Apparently that train was stopped because it was about to have four meets at Brecken. We thought the train was going to be rolling soon, so we waited for a few minutes, but nothing happened. So we just decided to leave. Now for next day, we went to Richmond Hill since Mike Waters decided to invite me there. So let's see what we got there as well. But we decided to make a quick stop at Slater's Road to see the Canadian going northbound. This is what locomotives we saw. Fia Rails, F for the PH locomotives, 6432 with an awesome K3 LL horn, and 6448. And this train has 11 passenger cars on it. It was also going to have a meet at Sefford. Alrighty, we are at Slater's Road and we have a Canadian coming. And there it is. Heading north to Vancouver. You can see here. Came here just in time, like after a minute I I came but train came, so yeah, not here that long. There it is going through our road right now. You can see if you heard that K3 LL horn. So, yeah, and there it goes heading up north. So, yeah, I'm just going to pause it right now. The next stop is Richmond Hill Go Station. Yeah, just clear with our road. You can see due to the traffic. So, yeah, next stop, Richmond Hill Go Station. 
Like it says, this crossing has all safe train equipment with a gate mechanism, the lights, and a safe train type 3 E bell. Anyways, I'm going to pause it for now. Alright, everyone. Right now, we are at the Richmond Hill Go Station in Richmond Hill. And if you look heading north, we have another northbound green signal. Apparently, for Fear Rail, I saw at Slater's, it's going to have a meet at Sefer, which sucks. So, yeah. If I wouldn't have gone to Sefer, if I haven't known if it was going to be a meet at Sefer, I wouldn't see Buck Kennedy and at Sefer Road. But, oh well. Anyways, we're here at the Richmond Hill Go Station, and yeah. Slight, but thing you're going south is red, but if you look over there, we have a green going northbound. After we see a train here, we are going to go to the Center Street Crossing, which is down there, so yeah. Hopefully it goes well, so I'm going to pause it for now. CN's G for Locomotive. 3259 was leading this northbound in the motor train. And for the DPU was 3830. And this train has 83 cars before the DPU and 101 cars after the DPU. Totaling 184 in the motor cars. And it was really loud because of a squealing. Already here comes a in the motor train heading northbound after waiting for half an hour. So luckily it's going to be a G for locomotive. I think that's a uh, tier 4. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to be a me because but I mean the southbound is flashing. And there's a southbound coming too. Crossing activated. Mm -hmm. There must be CM 185.
there goes. Well, I think that's the record. Loudest train I've ever got. Mm hmm. And Bear goes heading up north. Already we have another northbound coming, you can see, and the signal on the bottom of the southbound is green. So we may have a meet pulling a mixed. Yeah, I think there was 303 as well. There was actually a meet going on for the next two trains. For the southbound train, I couldn't see the numbers yeah. because the auto cars were blocking it. Looks like this one's going much faster a little bit, I believe. And the southbound was an intermodal train. It actually met the Canadian at Sethford. But for the northbound train, CN's g and SD-70M2 locomotives, 3831, 8866, 8850, and 3167 for the DPU. And this train has 83 cars before the DPU and 88 cars after the DPU. The thing I turned green just now, so had they know for this train. So it looks like they are going to be GFOs. Totaling 171 freight cars.
Okay, go to the photo. Okay, Finally, fair go 303. I cannot believe fair for me to be just missed with an intermodal train. Once I'm crossing the actor face, I'm going to pause it for now. If there goes any nerves, I apologize that you couldn't see the the murder train that well. You can hear how bad the bell is. Yeah. Okay, so going up. Okay, in this case, we're going to go ahead and head over to Center Street. Yeah, for now, I'm going to pause it for now. Hi, right, everyone. We are at the Center Street crossing and... <laughs> Like not far from the go, st go station. I just heard a K5 HL horn, but seeing it was flashing yellow, you can see from the mixed we saw. So, yeah, fifth crossing has um, safe train equipment with the lights, gate mechanisms, and right over there we have a bad, a really bad, a bad sounding safe trend type 3 e-bell that replaced the general signals type 3 e-bell a long time ago so yeah we'll see what we will get in a minute so for now until the lights started up i'm going to pause it for now cn's g4 and sd 70 m2 locomotives try the 856 8806 for the dpu and 3239 for the weird dpu with a 100 year anniversary sticker Head snurf with an intermodal train. This train has 66 cars before the DPU and 130 cars after the DPU. Totaling 196 intermodal cars, making this the longest train in this rail fan video. Alright, I take that back. He's here.
Always, here we go. And the back DPU has the 100 year anniversary sticker on it. One, two G Force, one at the front and one at the back, and one SD70 M2 in the DPU. So, yeah, we will see what we will get next. So, for now, I'm going to impossible now. I just noticed this on the safe train gate mechanisms here. It must be really old because I've never seen this type of gate mechanisms for the logo. Looks like it's in Louisville, Kentucky, where these gates are made. On my, it's on mile 21.11 on the battle sub. So, yeah. I thought there were going to be more trains heading our way, but it turns out. Nothing came for a while, so we just called it a way of any day. Please also feel free to subscribe to Mike Waters, L. Fader's Roblox, and more, as he was with me during this way of fans trip. We definitely saw a lot of epic trains during this trip. So yeah, that concludes this week's way of fan video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's way of fan video. And that will be it.